welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a video with my sister. I haven't done a video with her in quite a while except for the waxing challenge which she was featured in. On her channel she recently did my makeup and she's not really that experienced with makeup. She's never done a full face of makeup on anyone including herself and if you wanted to see how she did mine. Her video will be on her channel, obviously. The link will be in the description to her channel and that video. And yeah, let's just get into the video. So previous to the video, I washed my face and I also obviously removed all my makeup and then I just moisturized my face with that face lotion. My face is very dry, so all my makeup products are for dry skin, so they're gonna have to work. Her face looks oily right now just because she just moisturized. It's not normally like that. I'm gonna start with the e.l.f. Poreless Face Primer. I really don't have a, any other primer that's like for tone correcting because I don't have that problem so I wouldn't have that primer. I'm just gonna use this one just on her T-zone. It was super funny if you go watch her video on her channel because since she was doing my makeup she not didn't know what she was doing but like it was just funny seeing the comparison. I'm gonna be using the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 foundation. This is an 03 light beige. It should be her shade. We're not like the exact skin tone so um, I don't really know how well this is going to match, but we're going to hope for the best. I mean, we just got back from a trip at Florida, so we should be, like, kind of the same skin tone. Like that one hate comment. Not to be rude, I'm really trying not to be rude. I hope I don't come off as a rude person. I'm, I swear I'm not rude, but... You have a big nose! That's rude, honey! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. We were just reading hate comments before this video, and, like, it was so funny. Like, the reactions that, like, we had. And the people that leave, like, stupid comments and, like, hate comments on my videos, like, they don't make sense at all. Like, I've never read one comment. Because they're freaking eight-year-olds. I know, like, none of them make sense, and it's just so funny reading them. Like, I honestly get a kick out of some of them. super blotchy but I'm going to fix it. I'm just gonna blend that down her neck a little bit. It matches but it's just not a perfect exact match. I feel like it's like literally a half a shade off like not Seriously, even one. You look like a freaking ghost. And off the eyelashes. What? <laughs> Next I'm gonna be taking the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow Concealer in no shade. So since this concealer is a little bit lighter than her foundation or her skin tone, I'm putting that in the areas where I want to highlight. I wish you were this advanced for my prom. I know. Honestly, I'm sorry for the way I did your makeup for prom. <laughs> like those eyelashes weren't even on the right, they were with freaking dollar store glue. Next, I'm gonna actually bake for her face. I don't normally bake on myself but her face it's not oily but i'm just not used to baking because i have super dry skin so if i bake you're gonna see like all the dry patches and stuff but since she has normal skin um and it's not dry or oily you can get away with baking i'm gonna be using the coty airspun loose powder and translucent with the bh cosmetics 125 brush and we're gonna leave this on while i do the eyeshadow so I'm just gonna take the remaining powder kind of sweep that everywhere where I didn't bake and I'm not wiping off the bake I'm just kind of setting all the areas that aren't baking I'm doing her eyebrows with the second love eyebrow gel this is from Vi Below. and if you've been watching my channel you know that this is like my all-time favorite eyebrow product and it's from Vi Below. so um, hashtag not sponsored but um so carly gave me like kind of re not requirements but like things that she wanted in this makeup look and one of the things were instagram brows and i feel like all the features on her face are like different than mine like i have like a natural arch even when i don't have any products on my brows so i feel like it's very different working with people that have different eyebrow shapes and different lid space and like just things like that so it's very different doing makeup on her i have so many of these brow pomades i'm not even joking so this is like the only brow product i ever use like even if i'm in a rush like i can do this like in two seconds 
So I don't have any other brow products that I can use for her, so Dark is going to have to work anyway. And your brows are also two different shapes, which is like kind of difficult to work with. Yeah, they really are. I want to do something different on you because I know that you're probably not going to do this again. Yeah, so I've gonna... been natural my whole life, so she's trying to like give me something that's going to really pop. Okay, that's a halo. I can do that. I can do that. Okay. This is the Modern Neutrals palette by BH Cosmetics. It has a whole bunch of like orange tones, which is what was in the picture that she showed me. It doesn't look like there's any orange, but I can see that it kind of fades out to orange. That's the crease. I honestly love this palette. It's all mattes, and it's literally perfect for what? You made it, like, look so good when it's blended, bro. I wish I could do this. I've been doing makeup since I was 12, and it didn't look good back then. But, like, since I watch, like, makeup tutorials, and, like, all I watch on YouTube is, like, makeup videos. Honestly, um, yes. Every single night. She falls asleep to make a tutorial. <laughs> I'm not even joking. And I feel like I've just like picked up so many different things from so many different YouTubers. And since there's so many different varieties of YouTubers that you can watch, all of them have different skin tones, different preferences of looks that they like. And I feel like you learn from each of them. I'm, I'm so interested in it. I don't just do it because I want to look good and because I want to learn it. I do it because like I actually like could sit at my makeup vanity all day and do it. Like, I love it so much. It's not a drag to me. I don't hate doing it in the morning. I'm going to take a darker brown on her outer V. Um, I don't have the picture to show you guys, like, what look she wanted. But it was just, like, a basic brown halo eye. I'm going to be taking the Lorac Pro 3 palette. And this has a whole bunch of really nice shimmers down here. I'm going to take this golden shade. It's called Medallion. And this is a really beautiful shade. I use this for lots of looks. It's one of those shades you don't even need to spray to get like the color and the metallic shine off of it. So I feel like this would look really nice. And since this is a halo eye, I'm going to be putting it just in the center to create like that dimension. I'm gonna wipe off the powder on her under eyes because there's fallout on it now. I feel like with a halo eye, I've never seen like a halo eye with a liner. Really? Especially winged because all the attention is kind of brought to the middle. And if you have eyeliner, it kind of distracts everything from the eyeshadow. And the eyeshadow is like the main course, you know, like the whole point. That was easy to cut. I thought it was gonna like be all weird. I remember the first time she put lashes on me for prom in my life. It felt like the glue was like dripping in my eye and I was so scared to open my eye because I thought the glue was going to get in it. I was like, Tori, I know for a fact it's dripping in my eye. Don't try and tell me. <laughs> when it wasn't. I know. <laughs> Where the frick did my eyelash go? I'm holding nothing. We're going to let this get tacky because I really don't want to mess this up. Just like kind of let that sit and chill. Bro, it feels like... Is it on? Yes, I just didn't blend it with mascara. So oh my god. I'm gonna cut down this one now. I just feel like I can see it. Obviously. Like on my, like I can see it. And I just don't like it, but I mean it looks pretty. Okay, while those are drying, I'm gonna do her contour. I'm gonna use, of course, the obvious. Using the white shade from the Elf Heart collab. This is one of my favorite collabs that Elf did. It's honestly amazing. It really is good. When I used it on you, it was like popping. I know. She got it for me for my birthday. Okay, so I'm gonna go in and put something under your lash line just because it's a little plain. So look up. I'm gonna be taking dark brown from the Lorac Pro palette. And that's the exact color that I put on mm. her. It's a good difference. It's the exact color that I put on her outer V, and I'm gonna be putting it on not her waterline, but under her eye to create some dimension. I feel like the best mascara that I've ever discovered to blend your false lashes with is the Falsies Push Up Drama. The only reason why I picked this mascara for um, just blending in your lashes is because it has like little cups, 
and it's really good for if you're not blending false lashes, but it's also good for the false lashes. That would look so pretty. Okay, yeah. This is the e.l.f. liquid matte lipstick in... I don't know what this is. <laughs> um, I've never used it before because I don't ever wear lip products. I'm finished with her makeup. I love how it turned out. Oh my god, bro. I look so, like, different. If you like the transformation that I did on her, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and let me know. And if you don't like it, dislike this video. It's okay. I'm really curious on your opinions on this look. Subscribe to my channel for more videos like this in the future. And if you want to see more of her, um, definitely make sure to let me know in the comments so I can do so for you guys. I'm going to say in every video until we get there, we're on the road to 100k. We're so freaking close, you guys. Tell your friends, tell your dogs, tell, your, tell everyone you know because... We need to get there, and we need to get there soon. I'm going to be vlogging it, so make sure stay tuned and hit my notifications bell so you don't miss that video when it comes out. And, yeah, thank you so much for watching. I love all of you so, so much, and bye, guys. Bye.